today we are talking body recomposition. Hello beautiful people. Today we are talking body recomposition and how to lose fat and gain muscle at the same time. I've been on my fitness journey for about two and a half months since I've restarted my journey and it's been really interesting to see the changes in my body. I'll show you guys what I'm looking like. I've made really small changes and I've seen huge progress. Body recomposition is a very interesting topic. I've watched a couple of videos on it. I'll leave two videos that I watched about it last week below. One is from Meg Squats and the other one is from Adama Lorna. They really do a great job at breaking down the science behind body recomposition and how it really works. I'm gonna be sharing today kind of what I do, but first we're gonna get a good workout in. I'm doing the Carolyn Gervin Fuel series, which is super exciting. I'm so excited about this new series. I'm about to take some reds before I get started. And I'll talk a little bit more about supplements later, but we're gonna go get a workout in. So pretty. Mm. Add some lemon, It'll be a little fancy. Tastes just like Strawberry lemonade. So this red supplement that I take, I usually take it right before my workouts, right before my runs. I've really been trying to stay away from pre-workout just because it just makes me feel super jittery. I'm very sensitive to caffeine and I just don't like the way it makes me feel, so I stay away from pre-workout. Burst of energy your sweat sesh needs Sip, glow, and repeat. Not that pre-workout energy that makes you super jittery and makes you not feel great. It's that energy that you need just to get yourself off of the couch or out of your bed. And that's why I like to take these right before my workout. In the beginning of this journey, I was in the gym, like at least like six days a week. I was working out quite a bit to the point where I like burnt myself out. I started switching things up after like the first month, like really after the wedding, I started switching things up. If you watch all my vlogs and you see I've gone running a lot more, I'm trying to run a 5K this summer, walking a lot more, I've been trying to get my steps up. I've been honestly running a lot. It's changed so much for me, but I've been doing at home mat workouts and going to the gym every once in a while. The things that I feel have really changed my body are increasing my cardio by going on runs outside and guys I don't even run like crazy I've been only running a mile I haven't ran more than a mile yet just one mile three times a week really like changed my body up significantly so running increasing that cardio is so important and the thing is I hate when people try to make it seem like cardio is not important cardio is very important it's not just important for how your body looks but it's important for your heart health, your cardiovascular health. Your heart is a muscle and it needs exercise too. So increase your cardio any way that you can. Honestly, I felt like spin was making me very stagnant. It was making me hit a plateau because I honestly feel like I'm really good at spin and spin doesn't make me super tired sometimes, if that makes sense. Running has really like shocked my body and I love that. Like no matter how much I go for runs, my body is always shocked by it. Like my body is always super tired. I, I can feel myself working super hard. So runs have really, really changed the game for me in terms of this journey. Really working your muscles in a different way. It's not all about weight lifting. However, a beautiful combo is actually doing your workout first. So like doing a workout here, like a mat workout, mat Pilates or Carolyn Gervin workout, something with weight and going for your runs. Whoo! The weight is gonna fall off, girl. The weight just falls off. That yields the best results to me is doing a weight workout here and then running after. We'll talk a little bit more after my workout, but let me get it in before it's too late and I don't feel like doing it anymore. I just finished my workout, which, oh my God, was so good. I'm currently doing the Carolyn Gervin Fuel series, which will probably be up a week after this video. It's a week long program, so it's gonna take me about a week to finish it and then like a couple days to edit it. So it'll probably be up a week after this video. 
I am about to make myself a protein smoothie. I've been really, really, really trying to up my protein because that is like the most important part of this journey. Y'all already know, like I eat at home a lot of the time, probably 75% of the time, which is so important. But when it comes to body recomposition, losing weight and gaining fat, you want to increase your protein. And really just try to hit your protein goal every single day. So I have some protein that I was sent by Sierra Nutrition. I've been using that lately. It's a vegan protein. And I'm gonna be doing that probably, I'm probably gonna try to make like a cookies and cream type of protein smoothie. I'm probably gonna like put a cookie in there, put some peanut butter, um, do some like almond milk. Let's make the protein smoothie and we'll talk after that. Another lazy afternoon. Covered in gray, third coffee of the day. But I can hear raindrops step dancing on the roof. It's like they're calling out, don't lose your youth. Cause I can stay inside and type away inside. Oh, my today, just a little less Monday. Oh, so good. Protein is so important for your recovery of your muscles. Protein really does help you build out lean muscles. It really does help in recovering those muscles that were torn to shreds during your workout. It is so hard for me to hit my protein goals just because I'm just not a big fan of protein. Although I eat like chicken, salmon, all those good things, like especially chicken, chicken is so hard for me sometimes. I can't finish it. I'm trying, I'm working towards it. That's all that matters, right? That's all that matters. Increase your protein. I love me a good green smoothie, but green smoothies aren't packed with protein. So I've been really trying to eat more, or I've been really trying to drink more protein smoothies and less green juices. We need the protein intake. I just finished my protein smoothie, it was so good good and I did the Carolyn Gervin workout which by the way like if you are trying to lose weight and gain muscle I highly highly recommend a Carolyn Gervin program like her workouts are so great has a lot of compound movements they're just really great at home workout if you're not trying to go into a gym. Just wanna get a quick workout in because they're like 30 minutes. The program that I'm doing right now which is the field program, oh my God. My legs. My legs are burning right now. Carolyn Gervin workouts consist of a lot of linear progression and compound movements, which are really important when it comes to your body recomposition. It's difficult, it's not easy, especially the progressions that she does, but man, you feel it, you feel it. Today, I was doing split squats with my dumbbells, up, propped up over my shoulders, and then I brought one dumbbell down and had one in one hand, and I was doing the same split squat like that, then I put down the dumbbell and I was just doing a split squat without weight. And then we were doing like split squat and then kick back after that. Oh my God, the progression there was crazy, but like you just felt the burn where you needed to feel it. If you're home a lot like me, like today I've just been home kind of doing some laundry, kind of chilling. It's not until I started filming this video that I started getting up and moving. But today, which is so embarrassing, I've only hit about like 1500 steps. That is not good. I'm so sorry that the sun is going in and out. That is not good to only hit 1500 steps. And it's literally like 3.43. So I've been walking a lot more lately. I mean, it helps because I have a little pupper, I have a dog, but walking is just as good as running, guys. If you can get outside and walk like two to three miles, oh lord like your legs will be burning i think walking two to three miles is just as effective as running one mile so i'm about to go on a quick little walk with my puppers i'm gonna walk her around she can't walk too much because she has bad joints but i like to take her for however much that she can do on our own and then I like to go after that and you know keep going listening to music and at least try to get at least like two miles in. I'm gonna do that kind of clean a little bit. It is Memorial Day right now it's about to be the start of a new month. June 1st is just around the corner. I just want to the house to be nice and fresh for the new month. I got a new vacuum. I know this is really random lol <laughs> but I like sharing this type of stuff too. I got this new vacuum. I got this new Bissell vacuum. I got it on Amazon. It was only like $35. 
but I really need something that's just lightweight. It's called their featherweight lightweight vacuum. <laughs> I needed something lightweight to do like daily cleans because y'all know we have the other vacuum which is the Dyson one, the really really big Dyson one. Love it but it's so hard to lug around this house so I really need something that's like lightweight so I can do everyday small cleans. I'm gonna go for a walk, get my steps up even though I did work out. I want to get my steps up and then I'm gonna clean up a little bit again keeping myself active and then we'll make ourselves a nice hearty party dinner. Do you want to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Oh. She's being such a good girl right now. You're being such a good girl and letting mommy put on your harness. Y'all know she's usually crazy when I'm trying to put on her harness. So I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> on today I don't care what you say and I'm ignoring my phone so don't try to reach I love taking a green supplement every single day greens are especially great if you're not getting in all the veggies that you need to get in on a daily basis. For example, had some friends come in town. It was so much fun. We had so much fun. We went out all weekend long and it was great and all, but I don't think I ate a single veggie this past weekend. And sometimes it'd be like that. Some days just going out a lot and you're like eating out. A green supplement really does help you get in those nutrients from the veggies that you're supposed to eat daily, and it just supplements that, basically. It gets those nutrients in for you. Get back on track with those nutrients that I missed, basically, so. I have been trying the serum products. I've been trying serum products for like two weeks now. I'm really trying to give it some more time. I wanna make sure that like I don't have any weird reactions to it. I switched over to vegan protein powder recently, and I've been using the Sierra vegan protein powder and I've been liking it so far. I've been using the greens, their reds, their hydration mix, and I really do like their products. And I've had any crazy reactions yet. Not that I was expecting to have any reactions, but you know, sometimes when you start new supplements, you can break out, your body might not like it very much, an upset stomach, a lot of bloating. I just wanna make sure that I really, really, really like these supplements before I like push them at you guys, so. Yeah. So I'm gonna drink this. I'm still kind of cleaning up a little bit. I'm gonna go put some laundry away and then we'll make dinner and all that good stuff and talk more about body recomposition before dinner. I cleaned, I cleaned the bedroom, I cleaned the bathroom, put away laundry, wiped down the counters. Like it is so clean in here and I'm so happy. It just makes me so happy when this place is clean. And I'm sitting at about how many steps? Almost 7,000 steps today and I've been home pretty much this whole day so I'm very proud. Getting myself moving all day today so that's amazing. But I did want to end the video talking about the most important thing when it comes to body recomposition, and that is your diet, obviously. Diet on all levels, guys, is so important. Like I said earlier, I had friends over this weekend. We had a good time, we drank alcohol, we ate good, and now I'm on the path being clean throughout the week. One thing about me is I really, really try to limit my alcohol intake on like one day in the weekend. That's usually my plan. Like I try not to drink like at all during the week and only on the weekends and if I can help it just one day on the weekend. So maybe Saturday night and then not drink on Sunday or maybe just drink on Sunday and not drink on Saturday. Whatever it is, I just try to limit it to one day a week but sometimes it turns into two. Alcohol really does hinder your success in your weight loss journey 
across the board. I hate that though, but it really does. And it's important for you to limit the alcohol if you're really trying to see progress. Another thing that you really wanna do is obviously increase protein. We talked about protein earlier when we were making our protein shake, but find meals that are super high in protein. I'm about to make like a chicken nourish bowl for dinner. It's gonna be so good. I'm gonna do a little spicy mayo sauce on top and put some spinach in there and just like really eat some good food for dinner. It's just so important for you to just make sure that you are comfortable with eating really healthy foods. Like today, I didn't have that many greens. I'm planning to eat some greens for dinner, but I had my greens earlier, my green supplement. It's just so important for you to make sure you are eating at home as much as possible. For me personally, I eat at home personally about 85% of the time. 85% of the time, I'm eating dinner at home. And I love that about myself. I'm very proud about that because I love making my own food. I love being able to control what's going into my body. Like I'm a control freak in that way. So if I don't have to eat out, I'm not going to eat out basically. So, but yeah, today I'm just gonna make some chicken bowls. I'm gonna use some of my cilantro lime rice, cilantro lime spicy mayo moment just with chicken. I did this with my um, salmon the other day. It was so good and I'm doing it with chicken today. So if you need any like recipe ideas and you're new here, check out all of my what I eat in a day videos. I have several what I eat in a day videos, what I eat in a week videos, and I give like little recipes and stuff like that. So yeah. And if you're not good when it comes to, you know, cooking every day, I highly recommend meal prepping and I have a meal prep video as well. Hi, baby. Here is my very simple dinner. Have some pan seared chopped chicken, spinach, and some cilantro lime rice from the other day. And then I have my little sauce moment that I'm gonna pour on the top. Very simple guys, very easy to make. This literally took me like no time to make and this is just so good and nourishing and fast it's all about like meals that are just really fast and easy to make and i just like to mix it all up like so so good mm -mm -mm. all right guys well i am going to make myself some tea we're gonna watch stranger things i'm gonna take off my makeup and relax for the end of the night it's 8 30 done eating for the rest of the day I feel amazing, like I always feel so good to just eat at home, make good food, and just be be healthy, you know? Especially after the weekend that I had. <sighs> it was a crazy weekend. <laughs> like, when we went to Rainy Street, which is like um, a street of bars here in Austin, there was a bride that was out, there's a couple of brides, and I was like buying all the bride shots because I wanted to like return the favor because when I was at my bachelorette, I got so many shots from just random people who just wanted to like congratulate me and give me a shot. So I try to do that every time I see a bride when I'm out and stuff. <laughs> so I drank too much. But anyway, um, be patient with yourself when it comes to body recomposition. It's not easy to change your body, especially if you've been on a journey for a long time. I mean, if you hit a plateau, it is so hard to like get yourself out of it. Just know you gotta change up your strategy, especially if you, you're one that's been on a journey for a long time. Change up your strategy, make new meals, go into a calorie deficit, you know, just try your hardest to like switch things up, start going on runs, doing whatever you can to get your body like back into the zone. And yeah, guys, well, let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you want to see down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.